What's going on, Infinite Fam? Welcome back to another video. It's your girl, Denise. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the family. Guys, I'm talking very low, and I really hope you guys can hear me right now because Isaiah's in the bedroom right now. I don't know if you can hear. He's cleaning his shoes, but I have a super epic prank up my sleeve, guys. So today, I am going to be pretending like I'm talking to my mom, and I'm going to tell her that I regret our relationship. Now, guys, I am going to just say a whole bunch of stuff to make him think that i'm talking about him when in all reality i'm gonna hit him with i wasn't talking about you and i just want to see how stupid he's going to feel when i tell him that because he is going to assume it's about him and you know what happens when you assume it makes ass out of you and me so therefore i think this is going to be super hilarious so guys i'm about to set up the camera and i'm just going to pretend like i'm talking on the phone hopefully once i say like yeah i regret our relationship he's gonna hear me if not i'm gonna try to repeat myself but yeah guys if you are ready for today's video don't forget to smash that like button comment team jenny's in the comment section below if you think this one's going to be a banger let's get it guys Hey mom, what's up? Yeah, I'm just chilling. Yeah, that text I sent you, I was pretty much like, well, I just wanted to vent and stuff like that because I feel like, I feel like it's just disappointing. Like, literally this relationship has been for years. Years, I know. And I just feel like nothing's changed. It's always like with the arguments or like back and forth. It's not really like arguments I would say, but it's just like, it's just frustrating to me because I feel like my side is like never seen. Like I feel like it's only right. Exactly, exactly. And that's just not how relationships should be. I just really feel like exactly that's exactly what i'm saying and if i try to explain my side it's never understood ever because i'm always the one in the wrong and it's just like that's just not right to me and that's why i'm so upset about it yes you're that's exactly what i'm saying thank you for understanding because i swear i feel like when i talk about it i'm crazy all of a sudden exactly that's just not right yeah and i'm just like really regretting this relationship Ooh. like i am i'm really starting to regret it because it's just like it's unfair to me and it's like i'm such a good person i feel like i'm taking advantage of all the freaking time because i put in time and effort who are you talking to hold on my who? mom I'm sorry. Yeah, Isaiah just came and asked me a question. But anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. It's like I put in so much time and effort, and I just feel like it's never noticed. I feel like it's just always just like... Ma, can I just... Can, you put, can I put you back? Okay. Love you. Bye. Why are you just sitting there like a weirdo listening to my conversation? If you had an issue with our relationship, why didn't you just talk to me about it? What are you talking about, weirdo? I just heard you talking to your mom saying that I make you sound crazy and that you regret the relationship and all that. If you feel some type of way, why didn't you just come up to me and talk to me about it? We could have just talked. I feel like you're just talking to the next person and just telling them whatever and... I feel like you should have just confronted me first about it. I swear, like, why would you say that? Like, you regret our relationship. Like, that's, like, not okay. That's, like, that kind of, like, made me feel bad. My conversation with my mother made you feel bad. Yes, because that comment that you said, that I'm starting to regret this relationship or whatever, like, that kind of hurts. Like, why would you say that? Like, it if hurts. I said that, if, yeah, if I would have, if you would have called me saying that, you would have had, you would feel some type of way about it. I actually wouldn't feel some type of way about it. How would you not feel some type of way about it? Like, I'm over there cleaning my sneakers, and then I hear you talking to your mom, so I'm like, all right, let me not try to, like, be so loud because I'm over okay. there, like, banging boxes and slamming doors and all that from the closet. 
and then so you I, were eavesdropping on my conversation yes and no yes and no yes and no i was like trying to like be quiet but at the same time i was hearing your conversation and then i hear you talking about like a problem and then you're over here talking about you regret the relationship why okay don't you... yeah i did say that okay why why do you feel like that like we have six years together and then you just over here why it's not funny I'm being it serious. is funny it's not funny because i'm just trying to talk to you over here and you're over here talking to like the next person i get it's your mom like don't get me wrong but if you have a problem with me, why don't you just confront me about it and we could have talked about it? Who said my conversation was about you, though? Then who is it about? All of a sudden you're talking about like a relationship and this relationship has been for years. Right? Like, who else fits that picture besides me? Why, why do you automatically assume that I'm talking about a romantic relationship? I'm talking about a friendship, as a matter of okay, fact. Okay, so who are you talking about? I'm talking about a friend that I have. That's what I'm talking about. And I was talking to my mom, and I was texting her, and I was saying that I'm mad because I feel like they treat me like shit after all these years that I've been a good friend to them. That's what I'm talking about. And you're over here thinking it's about you. I'm not talking about you. Don't you think if I would have been talking about you, I would have just been like, I say up? Like, that's why I was sitting here looking at you like, why are you sitting here listening to my conversation? Because you everything were you were saying... Because you were being nosy. And I'm like, having a conversation, I'm like, why are you sitting here being observant, all mad and stuff? Like, for what? I'm not mad. I was just bringing it up to you. Like, if you had a problem, then why didn't we just talk about it? But everything you were saying, like, it was like you were talking about me, all oh, the relationship. Oh, it's been here for years. And, like, not necessarily, like, the arguments and all that, but it was, like, the relationship... The years, like, that just sounded like it was about me. So you just listened to my whole conversation because you were being nosy and you were eavesdropping. You put all of that together and you made it seem like I was talking about you and I wasn't. I was just trying to figure out if you had a problem with me, we could have just talked about it. Yeah, well, you could have just asked me. You could have just been well, like, that's why I came were up you to you talking talk about to you. me? That's why I'm just talking to you. That should have been the first thing that came up. I wasn't going to gonna be rude and tell you, like, yo, hang up on your mom. Like, we need to talk or something like that. Like, I was going to let you finish talking and then I'm... Bringing it up to you, like, well, yo, why are you saying that stuff about me? The respect, but I wasn't talking about you at all. Are you sure you're not, like, just trying to, like, I'm 100% positive. I'm 100% you... positive. You promise you, promise you weren't talking about me? Yes. The thing in your brain, what friend am I talking about that's been horribly inconsistent in my life? Okay, but it's like everything you were saying was, like, fitting the description of me. Like I said, oh, the relationship, we've been together for years or whatever, and... I didn't say we've been together. I said it's been years since right, I've so, been treated this way. Right, that's and I'm being patient as a friend. That's what was throwing me off. That's what was throwing me off because you're saying like, you, oh, your side has never heard or, you know. Exactly, this side. because whenever I try to bring it up to them. See, I'm but that's like, why I was bringing it up to you because I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, anytime we have like a problem, we talk about it. Like, I never like, I exactly, always let you get your so side. Exactly, so that should have told you I wasn't talking about you from the Okay, beginning. well, I guess that's what I get for assuming. My bad. Yeah, that, My that's bad. what you get for being nosy. I wasn't being being nosy. Yeah, you were because you literally told me that you stopped what you were doing. Why are you didn't stop. about my conversation? I didn't stop what I was doing. I told you I like was trying to be more quiet with what I was doing. So I wasn't like messing around with the sneaker boxes. I wasn't closing the closet door. Mm. Like I wasn't doing much. Okay. Whatever, bro. I guess that's yeah, what I That's whatever. what I get for assuming. That's what I get I think you owe me an apology. For what? I didn't for being anything. nosy and coming up to me and assuming I, wasn't I was talking being, about you, know, you. I was assuming, yes, I was. Wrong assumption, yes, uh -huh. on me, okay, but I wasn't being nosy, like, the bedroom okay. door is open and you were just talking, like, obviously I'm gonna hear you. I know that, I know you were gonna hear me. Okay, that, so that's, that's all it was. It, all it was was a prank. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh my gosh, I knew you, that you would assume that I was talking about you, so I set up the camera and I did the intro, and I wasn't talking to my mom or nobody, I did that all on, on purpose, because I knew that you were going to come over here and be like, you were talking about me, da 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 I got that ass, ooh, you got that ass. give me that ass, back up, give me that ass, back up. Give me that ass. Then it's gonna bite you. Mm. Say Team Isaiah. Yeah. Say yeah. Team Isaiah. Say Team Isaiah. No, Team Isaiah for what? Say, say Team Isaiah. It's not your prank. Get out of here. Say Team Isaiah. Say Team Janice. Absolutely not. This Absolutely is where, not. This exactly. is where I exit. Goodbye. That's what happens when you're nosy. Mind your business. I wasn't being nosy. I was being it was, considerate. It was an AD conversation, so you need to see your way out of my business. What are we, a middle school? That's corny. <laughs> What's corny is people not minding their business. Oh, shut. You are so mad right now. Hater!
F and a fam. That went exactly how I planned it. I am so happy. Look at him coming back. Look at him. All this little stuff in his hand. Are you mad? Yes, I am mad. I'm running low on my sneaker clean. Oh, that's why you're mad? You're not mad because you made an ass out of yourself? Because you assumed? I tell you what, we're even if you buy me more sneaker cleaner. What? what? How are we even? I, anyway. I need more sneaker cleaner. Not my problem. I'm running out. If you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to smash that like button. Comment to Janice in the comment section below. And with all that being said, it is time for today's post notification shout out. Today's post notification shout out goes out to Evelyn Frias. Thank you so much for your love and support. Isaiah and I love you. If you want a post notification shout out, all you guys got to do is like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on your post notification bells on so you're notified whenever we post a new video. And, Nene, say T mommy. Mwah. We'll catch you in the next one. Love you, infinite fam. <laughs>